In previous lessons, we learned that algebraic fractions follow the same rules as normal fractions. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to divide algebraic fractions. Remember, we follow the same rules as normal fractions. Let's see the theory first, just to refresh our memory. We know that when we are dividing fractions, we follow this process. We multiply the first numerator with the second denominator and we multiply the second numerator with the first denominator. Yes, that's all. Two steps. Multiply the first numerator with the second denominator and then multiply the second numerator with the first denominator. It is that easy. Let's do some examples. We have here x over 5 divided by x over 3. We know we got to start following this process. We multiply the first numerator with the second denominator and then we multiply the second numerator with the first denominator. x times 3, 3x and then x times 5, 5x. Always start with the top left hand corner here so you have to start with the first numerator going down and then the other way around. Don't ever start here, always start there first. And then the second numerator with the first denominator. Very important to follow that. So 3x over 5x, we have finished. Now we simplify. X's and X's, they cancel, because divide. Our final answer, 3 over 5. Is it that easy? Yes, it's that easy. Next one, we know t over 4 divided by t over 7. Once again, we are multiplying t times 7, 7t over t times 4, 4t. Again, we notice we can simplify the t's divide and they cancel out 7 over 4. That's our answer there. We'll do the last one. What do we do? We cross multiply. I always like to show the arrows to remind myself what I'm doing. So I'm multiplying, then I'm multiplying again. 12a times 5 is 60a. 5b times a is 5ab. Remember, very important to know your times tables. Now we know 60a over 5ab. What do you notice? We can notice here that we can simplify. 60 over 5 is 12. 60 divided by 5 is 12. The a's cancel. a divided by a is 1. It's gone. And we have a b. Where do we put the b? I've seen students, they put the b right there. Is that right? No, it's not. Important, the b is in the denominator. It has to go down there. So we take off the b, we put it where it should be down in the denominator. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. The a's cancel. The b is in the denominator. It has to be in the denominator. So our final answer is 12 over b. Very important that you pay attention for that. Here, as you can see, we follow the same rules from the normal fractions. That's why I tell always students, remember the past work, it's going to come back and you're going to see it later on in years to come in years 9, 10, 11 and 12. Very important that you master these basic concepts because we're going to be using them years and time and time again.